I come to announce to you there is about to be a resurrection for somebody. When you don't exercise your faith, it will not be strong. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We must continue to be hearing the word of God. This is Get Connected with Bishop Israel Adey Ajala. Hello and welcome to this edition of Get Connected with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala, God's servant to the nations and curator of the worldwide kindness revolution. Today we know that your life will not just be blessed, but it will be changed. We pray that your pain will be terminated and your life will never be the same. Our topic for today is Bethesda's pool party. And we also want to let you know that Get Connected is available on Spotify, Google, Apple, Amazon, and YouTube. So get ready for today's topic, Bethesda's pool party with Bishop Israel Ade Ajama. You know, have you ever been invited to a party because what I'm going to share with you today is a party that was going on, but all the people in the party were sick. Mm -hmm. It's called Bethesda party by the poolside. Mm -hmm. In John chapter 5, the Bible tells us that it was a time of the feast of the Jews. And uh, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And then the Bible says, In Jerusalem by the sheep gate, there was a pool. Yes. And that pool in Hebrew is called Bethesda. And that pool has five porches. Now watch this. Around that, part, that porches were multitude of sick people. And they are always there. Things are happening. You know, have you ever been to a, a, a camp, like a refugee camp? Mm -hmm. Or you, if you go south and, and you, are, you see those who are migrating to the United States, they will stay in a place and they will start making themselves happy. They try to reduce the tension. Mm -hmm. You will see somebody dancing, somebody doing this and that, just to 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 to, to waste the time, if yes. you will say that. Yes. This is what was going on at Bethesda pool party. All the people that come there were sick, and yet they were in that party. Everything was happening there except healing. Because the Bible says. There were people who are blind, who are lame, who are paralyzed, and they will come waiting for the moving of the water. Yes. And then the Bible says an angel will go down at a certain time, which none of them know the time. A certain time, and they will just notice there's an angel in the pool, and they will... How did they know angel is in the pool? They will see the water being stirred. Yes. There will be an eruption of the water. And whoever stepped in first, after the stirring of the water, was made well of whatever disease he had. Now, let me go back to the word Bethesda. The word Bethesda means house of mercy. That's the meaning of Bethesda, house of mercy. Yes. And so this party was going on in house of mercy. And only one received mercy per day. There was another man, though, who has been there for 38 years. He has been attending that party. And yet he did not receive mercy. He said, the Bible says there was a sick man 
that was he has been in that place and jesus came hear me i don't know which party you are i don't know how you think everybody in the party has forgotten you but in this month the king of mercy will come to you look a certain man was there the bible says in verse 5 i am so glad there was no name for this man because then you can put your name there yes i can put my name there a certain man was there who had infirmity 38 years i mean the problem of this man is that the problem has been a problem for a long time yes the problem of this man was that the problem has been a problem for a long time 38 years now it was the longevity of his problem that make jesus come to him what does that tell you don't give up stay within the party now, in the body of Christ, every Sunday, every Wednesday at Kingdom Connection, every Friday we have yes. a party. Yes. And if you keep coming, you keep hope, you know, trusting God. Yes. You see, you say, but I've been coming this long. No, you've not come that long. Because God is coming to touch you wherever you are. The Bible says God saw this man in that condition. And Jesus knew this man has been in that condition for a long time. And mercy came to him when he was not expecting mercy. Listen, this month mercy will come to you. Amen. When you do not think anybody will remember you, heaven has remembered you. Yes, yes. Heaven will come to you. You are in the right party. You are in Bethesda. You are at the house of mercy. You know, it's a party that mercy himself is going to show up. Remember, Bethesda means house of mercy. And who owns the house? Mercy. <laughs> and so mercy must locate you this month. Now, Jesus saw him. Jesus came to him. Jesus now asked him, do you want to be made well? Very simple question. Instead of the man to say, yes, sir. The man started to complain. He started to complain. He said, sir, I have no man to put me into the pool. Jesus knew you have no man. That's why he came. So don't worry about who help you. Don't worry about who does not help you. This time, God himself will locate you. Amen. In the condition you yes. found yourself. Yes. You probably have been putting your eyes on wrong people, looking for help from wrong channel. But God sees you. God knows where you are. Jesus said, rise up, take your bed and walk. The first thing I want you to know is you are going to rise up. Amen. You are going to rise up from pain. Yes. You are going to rise up from that sickness. You are going to rise up from sorrow. You are going to rise up from fi that financial lack. Yes, you are yes. going to rise up from that rejection. You are going to rise up from where the world and life has banished you. You are going to rise up. Because the voice of the one that told you to rise up is the voice that hell cannot resist. Amen. Because God said it one time. He said, once you have spoken, twice we have heard. The power belongs to you. God is the one saying to you, rise up my girl, rise up my boy, rise up my child, rise up my man, yes. rise up my woman. Yes. It's your turn to rise up. Others may trust in horses, others may trust in chariots, but because you have no help, the voice of mercy has come to you. And the voice you are hearing today is rise up. Rise up financially. Rise up spiritually. Rise up emotionally in the name of Jesus. The second thing that God is saying is, take up your bed. Take it up. You can't pick something up until you have strength. So I want you to know strength is coming. Yes. Financial strength. 
physical strength, emotional strength. I can, look, it does not matter what has been your identity. A new name is being given Amen. to you. A new name. He said, take up your bed. Take up that thing that, that people have identified you with. No, you are going higher. Now, the third one is walk. The walk is not matching time. It's moving forward. Yes. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are moving forward. Yes. You are moving forward. Where the life has banished you, you are getting up. Rise up above it. When you rise up, that which has been where you lay becomes inconsequential. Yes. Because you are now going to move forward. You are moved forward. You will not be identified with pain. You will not be identified with sorrow. The voice of mercy has located you. Can you imagine this man lying down there expecting who are the people that brought him? Even the people that brought him, they still do not, did not have enough patience and, 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 and fortitude to quickly throw him into the water. Yes. The man had to struggle by himself. Are you the type, are you the one that is thinking or you are at that place where you are struggling by yourself? You are, maybe you, 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 you are the only one taking care of the children. Maybe you are the only one taking care of yourself. Maybe you are the only one facing the challenges and all the friends that you thought you have have turned out to be fair weather friends. I come to tell you today, there is somebody coming to you. Yes. His name is Jesus yes, Christ. Yes. The voice has been heard in heaven. And in the house of mercy, you will get mercy. I say it again, in the house of mercy, you will get mercy. The Bible says immediately the man was made well. As I am talking now, I declare, receive your healing, receive your deliverance, receive your lifting in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, get up, rise up, begin to move forward in the name of Jesus. I will be right back after this message. Bishop, thank you, thank you. What a word, but that's this pool party. Yes. And Bishop, you said that when we come on Sunday, when we come on Wednesday, when we come on Friday, it's a party it's and a party. mercy will meet us there. Yes. Jesus will meet yes. us there. Well, Bishop, today, I believe that this episode and this program is someone's party who's watching today. And this is your opportunity to receive everything that Bishop said you will receive. Rise up in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll be back after these announcements. Amen. Kingdom Connection Christian Center's free food bank is open to all. Our food bank is open every Thursday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. We are located at 1391 Oswego Street in Aurora, Colorado. For more information, call 720-859-1737. You are invited to join us for our monthly oil change service on Friday, November 17th at 7 p.m. Along with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala will be our special guest, Bishop David Bakari from Zaria, Nigeria. You don't want to miss this once-in-a-lifetime ministry event. See you there. To join our text list and receive prophetic declarations from the bishop, service notifications, and links to join our live service and general information, text GRACE to 833-397-1448. Join us on our podcast platforms. Search Get Connected with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala on Spotify, Apple, Google, Pandora, and Amazon Music Podcasts. Welcome back to Get Connected with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. What a powerful, powerful episode and show today, Bethesda's Pool Party. Bishop, I have 
heard messages preached for years and years and years on this man of 38 years having that infirmity, can't get in the pool, but I have never heard it like this. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Amen. Bishop, you shared that Bethesda means the house of mercy. Yes. And I love it how you laid it out and said that oftentimes those who have a similar ailment or mm -hmm. issue, mm -hmm. they will come together come and together. literally be at a party mm -hmm. trying to encourage one another mm -hmm. in their issue. In their issue. Well, Bishop, Jesus crashed the party. He crashed and the party. he came yes. to that man yes. and said that this was his time. Yes. Bishop, I believe that there's someone in our listening audience mm. today. It may have been 38 years, it may have been 48 years, mm. however the amount of time. Mm. They have been at a party, mm -hmm. a party of, 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 of feeling sorry for themselves, yes. a party for uh, all the friends who said they were friends that mm -hmm. have left them. Yes. And here they are today, Bishop, mm -hmm. by God's sovereignty, mm -hmm. hearing your voice, yes. hearing this message. Mm -hmm. What can you share with them about the fact that this is their moment, this is their time? Well, one thing I want you to know is this. This is our month of that emphasis of this month is mercy. Yes. Mercy. God wants to show mercy to you. Your voice is being heard in heaven. Amen. Your cry has reached to heaven. Yes. You will not finish this year in sorrow. You will not finish this year in pain. You will finish this year in joy. Yes. In good Amen. health. Amen. I know. People have forgotten you. Even people you have helped when things were going well for you. Now that you are facing challenges, they kind of been drawing back. That's life. That's life. Most of the people that we call our friends yes. are fair weather friends. Mm -hmm. When things are going well, yes. they are with us. As soon as we hit something on the road and we could no longer do like we used to do, you know, you will just not see them anymore. What do you do? That is why you see these people congregate together. Yes. The lame, the blind, the paralyzed. And because now their expectation is the same. Healing. Listen to me. Even when man has forgotten you, God is not going to forget you. He's coming to you. I want to talk to you specifically especially those of you that circumstance of life have brought you to this point. It's not because you are lazy. It's not because you don't know what to do. The fact is that you don't have the strength to do it like you used to. You don't have the strength to do it like we used to. You know, a lot of people, sometimes they don't even know what to say. In their effort, Yes. In their effort to encourage you, they even make your heart to go down further. You don't need to cry. You don't need to sit down. You need to do something. They don't provide you with any strength. Right. You know, especially this man. Somebody brought him to the pool. He was, the Bible says he was, he was a man that had infirmity. We don't know what his infirmity was whether he was paralyzed, whether he was... But what we do know is that the infirmity was so severe, he was lying down. He couldn't get up. Mm. He couldn't get up. His mind gets up, but his body cannot follow his mind. You know? And have you ever had a situation whereby your mind wants to do certain things, mm -hmm. but your body just could not get up to do it? You don't have the strength. Listen, the strength that created the world is coming to you. Amen. He is mercy. Yes. He's coming to you. Listen, the Bible says Jesus saw him lying there. Lying there. And Jesus knew that he already had been in that condition a long time. To me, that is one thing yes. that makes me say, so God knows what I'm yes, going through. Yes. God knows what you are going through. God knows about that betrayer. 
God knows about that 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 issue that you've been going through. God knows about that business, the cheating on that your business that didn't go through. God knows how you get to where you are. God knows where you are. And he loves you enough that he noticed also that others are sharing testimony around you, giving you high five, but they are not even thinking of you. That is the reason why God is coming to you. Do you know it is the longevity of this man's problem that attracted Jesus to him? The Bible says Jesus saw that he has been in that condition a long time. He is probably the one who's been there longest. And others have kind of look at him as, oh, he can't do anything anyway. Everybody kind of banish him to that bed. Wherever the life has banished you, the Jesus that I serve will touch you this month. Yes. And things is going to change. Now, the man said, I have no man. And he was correct. I always say, I have no Godfather anywhere, but I have God, Father God everywhere. Yes, yes. I have no Godfather anywhere. Everywhere I go, I don't have Godfather there, but I am confident that I have Father God there. And Father God represents me there. You may have no man, but hear me, you have the Son of Man. You have the Son of Man. His name is Jesus. He is coming to you. He's, you are going to hear his voice. Now, this is one thing I want you to note. After you've gotten your healing, there will be some people that will still want to know how you did it. <laughs> they want to know how they your do. circumstance yeah. changed. <laughs> because, you know, people rather will want you to keep suffering mm -hmm. so they can have an object. One of the things that... <laughs> Even pastors say it around me without thinking. Oh, we are sending missionary to Africa. I'm an African. I'm an African in their midst. We are all pastors. Yes. Because in their mind, Africans are destitute. Mm -hmm. And every time they say that, I say, Lord, you that remember the man at 38 years. Yes. You will remember the people of Africa. You will remember them and you will take them out of shame out of sorrow, out of pain. Some people will just say things without thinking yes. because they're already used to mm -hmm. it. They're mm -hmm. used to that mindset. Mm -hmm. You see, you know, you, you, oh, it's just from India. Oh, it's just from this. You know, don't let that bother you. Mercy will locate you where you are. Yes. And mercy will lift you up. Now, all the ones who have people to throw them in the waters, we do not hear about them. No. <laughs> Only the one who had nobody. No <laughs> we are still reading about him today. Yeah. The reason your circumstance is what it is, is because generation yet unborn will hear about what God is going to do in your life. It is to your own good. Hear me. All things will work together for you. They might think they abandon you. They might think they leave you, they left you alone. They might think you are not necessary. You are inconsequential. What they don't know is that they are contributing to the sweetness of your story. Yes. They are contributing to the sweetness of your story. Imagine this man now sharing his testimony. God says, my glory I will give to nobody. My glory I will give to nobody. I come to tell you that God will take the glory over your life. Yes. If everyone that has promised me heaven and earth had come true, <laughs> where I am today, they would have been the one that say, if not for us. But most, almost all of them, <laughs> they, they, they abandoned me completely. But God did not abandon God, me. Yes. God that did not abandon me will not abandon you. You will have the last laugh. The devil will not have the last laugh. In your life, you will rise again. In your business, you will rise again. Yes. Hear me. Whenever no one is there to help you, look, remember Psalm 121. I will lift my eyes up unto the hill. Then he asked the question, where does my help come from? <laughs> then he answered immediately. He said, my help does not come from man. My help comes from the Lord. Lord. 
the Lord who makes the heaven and the earth. I come to announce to you that the heavens will remember you this month. He will remember that your child. He will remember that your spouse that is sick. You know, you won't be banished to the hospital for the rest of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Maybe you are in, in prison when you are hearing this. Hear me. God is a God of forgiveness. God is a God of another chance. He will give you yet another chance in the name of Jesus. Yes. Maybe somebody walk away from you and you are all alone by yourself. Rejoice. Mercy will locate you in the condition you find yourself. Now, the people that saw this man says, they said, don't you know it's the Sabbath? Who heal you on the Sabbath? <laughs> Can you imagine? They did not <laughs> provide help. No help, you know, at no help at all. <laughs> and then they saw his condition change. Now they said, it is the Sabbath. Who cure you on the Sabbath? Who make you well on the Sabbath? I would think the Sabbath should be the day that God should be releasing healing. You see, this is the mindset many people bring to church. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't get their healing. True. They only True. come for the meeting. They come to show off their clothes. They mm -hmm. come to show up their voice. Mm -hmm. So they want to whoop or whatever they call it. <laughs> and they want to sing and so that people can clap for them. But they never come with expectation of healing. So they go around with all the same sickness that has been plaguing them year mm -hmm. in, year out. Because they've listened to those who say, who heal you on Sabbath. Listen, every time you are going to church, every time expect God to move in your life. Yeah. Expect God to heal you. Expect God to give you a word. Where there is no expectation, there is no visitation. Mm -hmm. God is in the business of healing. If you go to the church where they say there is no more healing, run for your dear life. Yeah. <laughs> Find another place. Yes. Healing is still going place, yes, still yes, happening. Yes, God yes. is still healing people. Let me pray with you before we go. Father, I thank you for my brothers and sisters who are listening to me. As they, as they are waiting for the stirring of the water in any part of their life, Lord, locate them with the mercy of your holy name. Locate them. You that located this man at the Bethesda's pool's party, go and locate my brother, my sister, my friend that are listening to me today and whatever predicament they are going through, take it out of their life. I prophesy over you, rise up, take up your bed, and walk in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us. This has been a presentation of the radio ministry of Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. For more information, contact Bishop Israel Ade Ajala by email at info at kcconline.org or by phone at 720-859-1737.